When a spider wants to travel long distances, it simply casts out a strand of silk, captures the breeze, and flies away. They are known to travel hundreds of miles, even ending up on islands in the middle of the ocean. Scientists have figured out how this mode of transportation works. They also discovered that spiders have very little influence where they're flown when caught in a stiff wind. The new study points out that the 20-year-old model for spider ballooning, which assumed that spider silk is rigid and straight, and spiders just hang at the bottom, was flawed when applied in moving, turbulent air. The spider has virtually no control of where or how far it travels by this means. This is how a ballooning spider can end up in the ocean hundreds of miles from shore. In more calm breezes, though, spiders can drift just a few yards to invade new territory or surprise prey. Although the new model better illustrates how spiders fly, there is still room for refinement.